deadliest and most destructive of the 27 homes. It showed a neighbor's home burning. I can't believe that he's alive. The city is now burned to the structures are now under evacuation. But as he mourns the loss of his home, burned out of control and perhaps saving your home. Story of survival. A lot of the dis devastation focused around Santa Rosa today is spreading in the Santa Cruz The fire in San Mateo County has turned deadly. This was the first major disaster to hit the county and did so uh, destroying 5,300 homes uh, in the course of a couple of days. Nerves were raw, people were in shock, and we had to find a way to, not only to reopen our existing business, but to serve fire survivors. And our overall goal was to make sure that fire survivors have the best opportunity to remain in the county, whether that meant rebuilding on their property or setting up a, a certain regulatory environment so they could sell their property and move on in their lives. So the building and fire code are essentially married together in several sections. Uh, they, they mimic each other in the code sections. And what that's really designed to do is a number of things. Um, one, the overlap obviously provides consistency, um, but it allows us in the built environment to provide those protections to our residents, our community, and to our firefighters when they go out when there is an incident to provide better mitigation. You know, it's been our experience that, uh, that most houses catch on fire due to ember penetration in a, in a wildfire. And uh, WUI is designed to uh, stop that ember penetration by, uh, you know, uh, placing the uh, the ventilation of a house in strategic lo locations where the embers can't uh, penetrate. And also the siding and the, and the windows of, of, a, of a structure are very important that they don't catch on fire as the fire comes through. Because if you don't give the fire fuel, the fire will just keep moving and, and eventually get past that house without taking it down. What makes these programs successful is the service that is provided. We are with our customers from permit intake all the way to certificate of occupancy. Another important aspect of the service that we provide is the cooperation that we get from the municipality jurisdictions. That is with the building department, the planning department, the fire department, environmental health as well as, well as geological hazard. Um, and then also ICC's education and materials that they provide us so that we can stay current on today's building codes. By training in those together, training both obviously our fire prevention personnel and our building personnel, we can properly enforce those codes um, and then we can also train our firefighters what to look for. It's extremely important that we emphasize training as a core part of our budgets and make sure that people aren't just meeting minimum qualifications but are ICC certified, so permit technicians, plans examiners, uh, building inspectors, not only in our regular practice, but because those certifications also better prepare them and through continuing education, make them better uh, intellectual professionals in their emergency response roles. You want people that are constantly thinking of uh, the next step ahead. We have to be a partner. Um, we come in with an implementation team the implementation has to be done in, at lightning speed. Our goal is to get these plans turned around and get people permitted in five business days. And you, you can't do that without great municipal partners as well.